This video will show you how to perform a test of hypothesis for the difference of two population means. For this tutorial, I'm going to be using the LA County Ozone Random Dataset from the RGuru User Guide Repository. If you would like assistance loading this dataset, please watch our video Specifying Data on an Inference for Population Means. Now take a moment and pause the video and consider the problem I have presented in front of you. From the Analytics pane, scroll down to Analysis, and then click on Mean Inference. From here, select the dataset LA County Ozone Random. For Variable 1, we are going to choose September, and for Variable 2, we are going to choose February. Our guru automatically fills in the summary data in the Population 1 and Population 2 boxes below. These boxes also give you the ability to change the labels for these two populations. I would like September ozone and February ozone to be my labels of choice. Now to construct a test of hypothesis for the difference of these two population means, scroll over to the Population 1-2 tab. Here you'll see two subtabs one for the confidence interval, and the other for the test of hypothesis. Let's click that one. By default, Arguru sets the significance level at 5%. This problem asks us to use a significance level of 10%, so we need to change that accordingly. The alternative hypothesis is a mandatory field that seeks to examine if the data provides sufficient evidence to support the City Council's claim. In this case, we are looking to prove that the difference in means for the ozone levels of September and February are greater than 0.015. Arguru has the ability to perform a handful of different methods to implement our test of hypothesis. The default method in Arguru is the Z statistic. But there are a couple things you want to keep in mind before trying to implement all these various methods. Raw data is required for implementing the bootstrap and permutation methods. And the bootstrap and permutation test can only be used when testing the mean difference about zero. Since we are testing the value 0.015 for our alternative hypothesis, our guru will give you a warning message should you try and use the bootstrap and permutation methods here. So I'm just going to use the Z and T statistic for this analysis. Over to the right, we will see the assumptions box. If you are interested in learning more about these assumptions, please reference our video, Assessing Assumptions for Mean Inferences. We're going to leave this box alone since we are to assume unequal variances in this problem. We can now hit the preview icon and see our results. Now the term research hypothesis is used in describing the alternative hypothesis. The output table shows the values of the difference of means, the standard error, the observed Z statistic, the bounds of the critical region, and the p-value. Our guru even states if the results are significant in the red text below. Each of these tests also come with two visual representations that show why the null hypothesis is rejected or not rejected in favor of the alternative hypothesis. On the p-value graph, since the alternative hypothesis is that the difference in mean is greater than 0.015, the p-value is the area to the right of the green triangle, which is our observed difference of sample means. On the critical region graph, the red area shaded under the density curve indicates the rejection region that corresponds to a significance level of 10%. The observed difference of sample means, shown by the green triangle, falls in this rejection region. So, at the 10% significance level, we can conclude that there is sufficient evidence that the difference in mean of ozone levels in September and February is greater than 0.015. For more information on implementing a test of hypothesis for the difference of two population means and the various methods to do so, please reference the chapter Inference for Population Mean from our user guidebook.